gonna talk about how to deal with high altitude sickness while hiking the Inca Trail to Machu Picchu. Now, when you're gonna start preparing for the Inca Trail, you will come across the word high altitude sickness in pretty much every article you read or YouTube video that you watch. And if you don't know what that is, we're gonna do a quick refreshing course here. So basically, the higher we go up in altitude, the thinner the air becomes, which means your body won't be able to get much oxygen and this will cause nausea, headaches, fainting, and even worse. Now, this usually happens at altitude higher than 8,000 feet and Cusco, the city where you're gonna be starting your adventure from, is located at an elevation of 11,000 feet. That's more than 3,000 meters and for those of us coming from sea level, it's going to be really difficult. We have to take high altitude sickness seriously. Why? Because first of all, you don't want to have a crappy trip, you don't want to cancel your hiking or backpacking plans, or far worse, you don't want to end up at the hospital. Generally speaking, there is no way around high altitude, but there are things that you can and should do to minimize the impact of high altitude sickness. And in this episode, we're going to talk about seven things that you can do to deal with high altitude sickness while hiking the Inca Trail to Machu Picchu. Number one, give yourself 48 hours to adjust to high elevation. Say for example you are hiking the Inca Trail on Friday, it's very important to get to Cusco at least 48 hours before because the more you adjust, the easier it gets for you and your body, the more success you will get on the trail. Also, do not plan anything on your first day in Cusco. I know you're gonna be excited to explore and see places and meet with locals, but it's very important to take it easy, especially for the first day in Cusco. Number two, drink a lot of water and keep yourself hydrated. And the first thing you're gonna notice here, when you get to your hotel and you get to your guest house, the first thing that they're going to offer you is coca leaves tea. And this is going to be your best friend, not only in Cusco, but even throughout the hike. So make sure you keep yourself hydrated and drink a lot and lots of water. Number three, sleep very well and give yourself some rest. And I do understand the fact that you're gonna be there, you're gonna be so excited, you cannot stay in your hotel room, you would wanna go to places and meet people and explore this corner and that corner, but it's very, very important to get at least eight hours of sleep and rest as much as you can before you start your Inca Trail hike. Number four, coca tea and coca leaves. They are going to be your best friend throughout the hike and you will see that the guides will encourage you to chew on them while you are hiking. Now, they might be a little too strong for you, but I realized that markets sell coca candies and they are very sweet, very tasty, and they might help you a little bit. Number five, keep your meals light and preferably go with vegetable soups. You don't wanna go crazy with hamburgers and sandwiches and fries and all the things that are full of fat. Number six, avoid alcohol. If you are a party person, do yourself a favor and before starting your trip, avoid drinking alcohol. Though, I saw a lot of people on the trail who were drinking because there were some beer providers in some stands on the trail. Number seven, and the last one on this list here is to talk to your doctor. If you have any doubts, any concerns, any medical issues, it's very important to talk to your doctor. There are a lot of prescription medication that help with high altitude sickness. These are known as blood thinners. So talk to your doctor and get a piece of advice. 